hi guys welcome back to our youtube channel so in today's video i'm going to show you how to use a scatter chart in power bi it might sound simple but it can be surprisingly unintuitive so let's dive in for this tutorial we are using the famous iris data set which includes flower petal length and width sepal length and width and the variety of the flower so there are three different types of flowers so let's start by creating a scatter chart So I'm going to select the chart and drag it to make it bigger and then I'm going to drag the sepal width into the x-axis and sepal length into the y-axis. You might be expecting to see a scatter of data points but instead you are seeing just one dot. This is because Power BI is summing all the values into one dot. So if you hover over the dot, you will see that it shows a sum of sepal length and width. To fix this, click on the arrow next to the x-axis and change the aggregation from sum to average. This will show average of all the points but it still might not be what you are looking for. Here's a quick workaround. Power BI recently introduced an option to click the down arrow and select don't summarize for both X and Y axis. Just like this. This should show all your data points however there is a known issue where adding the variety field to the legend might not work to get around this you will need to create a unique identifier for each data point so what you're going to do is you're going to go to your power query and add a unique column I'm going to go in add column and then index column. This will create a new column with unique values from 0 to 150. After adding the index column go to home and click close and apply. Now you can add the index column to the details pane. You might encounter an error if you don't summarize your x and y axis. To be sure, set the aggregation back to sum for both the axes. Now that your data points are displayed correctly, you can add the variety field to the legend like this. And there you have it. Scatter charts in Power BI can be a bit tricky, especially if you are unfamiliar with the nuisances. By following these steps, you can avoid some common pitfalls and make your scatter charts work as expected. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next video.